In July 2014, SunSwift attempted and broke the FIA international record for the fastest electric vehicle over a 500 km distance. This is a feat that proves that electric vehicles can not only travel at high speeds, but can also travel for long distances. This year has been an incredible experience for the members of the team to not only learn more about the car, but to learn more about their professionalism and understanding of each other as a team. The teams learnt the importance of meeting deadlines, the importance of working together, the importance of genuine commitment, and most importantly, the importance of working towards a goal. In the seven months leading up to the LSR, I think our team has gotten a lot closer. Uh, we've got newer members contributing and designing things they've never done before. Um, we've, got, we've become more organised, more hardworking. It's actually amazing how much all this effort has paid off. After breaking the world record, the team as a whole became stronger as a unity. It became stronger as a family in a way and everyone just got a lot more excited about being part of something great. special because not everyone can say they've broken a world record. Um, to be able to just tell people, hey, um, we did something amazing that no one else has, um, that not many other undergraduates can be able to um, partake in, is a great feeling. I believe that we've done something extraordinary as students. We've made an electric car capable of travelling at very high speeds over really long distances. Not many other electric cars can do that. And by pushing the boundaries of this technology, we're hoping not only to spark an interest in the public and get them behind electric cars, but also to encourage industry to lift their game. Um, when we broke the record, it was more relieving than anything else. It was just a combination of six months of work and when we crossed the line, Hayden was the first one who came on the radio. So at the time, Hayden was ground and I was as control behind the solar vehicle. Um, and he was the first one who said congratulations over the radio. Um, so coming from him, it was, I guess, a tender moment in six months of hard work. So that was really good. <laughs>